Hey guys, what's up? This is Movie Maker 237 Luxury Edition Smoke and Mirror Cards. Where can you get them? DanDave.com, TheLuxuryDeck.com are both sold out. Alright? Sold out. You can get them from Theory11.com. Theory11.com. In case you haven't heard of that, then you wouldn't have heard of these. Okay, um, Theory11.com. And after that, sold out, which I'm predicting will sell out this week. This week, meaning. They will sell out about November 15th, if not before. Alright? So get them. Like, as soon as you see this video, get them. Amazing. Amazing cards. Amazing cards. Alright, um. So these cards are, of course, good for flourishing. Because the people who made them are Dan and Dave Fox. I don't see how that makes them good for flourishing. I'm sorry. But they are. Um. Reverse, complete reverse, the borders. Ooh. I think it just makes for a, such a better deck. I love it. They look great. I'm not gonna lie. I love these cards. They might be my favorite cards. Right? And I do have a lot of cards. I'm not even kidding. I will show you my cards after this. So they are great. They have the same simplified aces as the previous editions. Um, no changes in the faces from the second edition. However, in the first edition, the faces were darker. In case you didn't have a first edition deck. I still have a first edition mirror deck. I had two mirrors and a smoke. But some magician stole them from me. Mean people. Alright, um. So they do fan the same. They do act the same. They do handle the same. One thing I noticed was different was the LaPaul spread. Um. Crushing out these cards is slightly harder. I know this is gonna sound cheesy, but I do think it has something to do with the ink. You'll notice completely black, completely white. Less ink, more ink. Yeah. So that may have something to do with it. I don't know what I just did. Now, the mirror deck comes with black ace of spades and a double back. Huh? Smoke deck comes with double back and an add card. Because a black ace of spades would just be weird in this deck. Okay, um, fans. 5 out of 5. I'm gonna go through this really fast. 5 out of 5. Ooh. Okay. Cool. 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 Okay. Um. <laughs> flourishing. It is a flourishing deck. By the way, in case you guys didn't know that. Um. It's not technically a flourishing deck, but it is great for flourishes. Because. I don't know why. But I think that was kept in mind when making this deck. It's great for cuts. Flourishing. Shuffling. I have never shuffled this deck. I cannot believe it. Ooh, look. It sounds cool. Alright. Fun to shuffle. Fun to flower. No, I'm not gonna do that. Um. But yeah, this deck is good. You can... One-handed twirls with it. Um. Cuts with it. Um. Complete cuts with it. And other stuff. Other cool stuff. Alright. But yeah, as you can see, this deck is great for flourishing. Magic. Um, people are like, oh no, why are there black borders? I can't do magic with this card. You can, actually. Um, believe it or not. As black borders. It doesn't mean you can't do magic. Unless you just can't do magic. So don't be bashing the deck, guys. Like, really? Um, I challenge anybody to tell the difference between this one and, um, uh, this one. Uh, aside from the cards. Smart people.
but they can't tell. It's facts. All right. Um, some people say, well, what if I have something like that, where these three cards are face down and this card is face up? They can tell. No. No, they really can't. You can't tell. All right. Is I'm I'm dead serious. Between that and that, I can hardly tell. Like really, hardly, hardly. Of course, it is black. Um, and that will fade off, which is a negative. But whatever. Uh, I'm not gonna use this deck to go around showing people magically. No, or maybe I will. But I guess if you are getting these decks for magic, go with these ones. But just looks so much better. I'm sorry, I had to add the voice. Just looks so much better. All right. Um. So both of these decks are indeed great decks. All right. Um. Do pick them up before they sell out. They will sell out. Um. And then you'll miss out on them. Again, I have had all these editions, and I am most pleased with this one with the design, resemblance, the border. I guess that all fits under design. Oh, the design. Of course, the rest is the same between the decks. The stock, I, they do last pretty long, but I do think I could probably kill one of these if I wanted to. But that's why you keep care of them. You don't buy the deck and then use it 24 7 for like a week in a row and like have your hands all dirty and then be like oh the the deck isn't as good as it was last week because that's not the deck that's a uh, sanitary problem all right so the deck is great definitely pick them up 311.com cannons.com if i didn't mention you i don't like you websites I, i'm kidding i just don't know you um, so definitely check them out. I think I've said that a lot. That's just what they look like. Take a look. Black Ace of Spades does look pretty cool. But I am happy that the deck is not all black. Because that would kind of suck. Black decks. Oh, I hate them. I think when you're kind of new to magic, you think they're really cool. But later on, you kind of are like, yeah, it's not all black. Anyways, um, that's what they come with, and those are the decks. If you've had a previous edition, then that is just what they look like. Let me just give you a quick little comparison to the second edition. I think, look, second was just uh, getting a bit too complicated, and. There is no huge border, it's a subtle border, as opposed to these ones. And, um, actually here, let me quickly go and get this, so I can show you, and then I will end this video as quickly as I can. Alright, um, huge difference. Just, wow. If you look at these two decks, one looks amazing, and one looks pretty cool. Amazing, or pretty cool. Ah, keep you on shooting them, this deck's slippery. Amazing, or pretty cool. Third editions, second editions. That's the difference in look. I already talked about feel. There are other reviews on YouTube about the feel of the deck. Alright, so that is a comparison between the 3rd edition, 2nd edition, and 1st edition smoke and mirrors. Last time, I can't say it enough. Pick them up, theory 11 or cannons.com. I hope you enjoyed. My name is MovieMaker237. Subscribe if you did like it, or don't if you didn't. I, I don't know. Search for this. Peace.